Did you already play for, I don't know, African people or Afro-American with that roots and, you know? Oh, yeah. People who um, are really into this. Oh, we've definitely played for Afro-Americans, but, <laughs> um, you know, in, uh, in New York and I imagine most places, there scenes or things are segregated, unfortunately. So, I mean, the, the people that we played to obviously were first college students because it's not really a kind of situation where people from a very different neighborhood will go, oh, let's go see what's going on at the university tonight. It's more like the people who are there would go see their thing. Um, I think um, occasionally we, we, had, we did get messages a couple times from, from people who said, you know, I saw you guys live. I remember this specifically is when we played at Columbia. It was a student who was from South Africa, and she said, I saw you guys live, and there was something about your music that, that, I, that I really liked, and then I was kind of listening to it more and seeing some of the things you were talking about, and I realized that you were, like, into African music. And we thought that was kind of the perfect way for it to happen because that's the whole point is that we're not an African band. It's just that we, that we like that music and we want there to be an element of it. So we don't want someone to see us and immediately say, oh, look at these guys. They're doing, you know, a kind of Kenyan thing. They're doing something from Zaire. Just to see us and say, okay, they're doing something a little bit different and then maybe think about it more and see that, it's, that there's subtle ways that we incorporate that. Because, you know, when we perform, I don't think most people when they see us live would immediately think of, um, African music, but you know, it, but when people read things, then then they already have preconceived notions. But the truth is, it's one of many influences on our band. Yeah, one of many. So yeah, and then other influences. Sure. I mean, I, I would say almost every kind of music, but definitely in obvious ways, I think classical music. I think. Um, like. Uh, what? Like like which? which I mean, I would say like a kind of bar there's definitely a baroque kind of Bach feel to some of the lines that Ross Tam writes um, in a kind of, in other ways it's kind of just like a vague um, interest in kind of ornamentation and harmony you know it's not always like super specific um, de I definitely like punk and and reggae and Scott and especially like yeah late 70s British music is an influence on me um, I think those are some of the main elements also a bit like uh, talking heads yeah, I would, I would follow Talking Heads as part of that kind of like early punk movement um, to, in a certain way. Yeah, okay. And um, yeah, um, the songs, uh, the so like a title like Cape Cod Quasa Quasa. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Where does that, that title come from? And well, what's it, it, about? it came from a, a short story that I was writing where I was kind of some similar ideas to what went into the band, but. Basically, uh, you know, that was just about kind of combining two different things that seem very different. Cape Cod being a kind of vacation community in Massachusetts, in New England, in America, and Quasa Quasa being an African dance. I mean, on one level, I just like the way the words sound together. But I also, you know, like to think about those things as not being so distinct. I mean, because people listen to all sorts of different music. People like to dance in different ways, and, uh, you know, at the very least, I don't think there's any one meaning, but I think when you put out a phrase like that, it at least makes people think think about it. And I think it means different things to different people. Yeah, what do you say? That quasa Quasa is in uh, a dance? Yeah, it's a dance, and I guess people would also call it a style of music. And it's, uh, I guess, an, an originally comes from the, the French Quasa. That's what I read on the internet. But you can watch... Yeah, there's YouTube videos the most, on YouTube yeah. of people dancing. And the most famous use, I think, is an album by a guy, Kanda Bongo Man. Yeah. 